Whoop. Yep, I am still trying to get used to wearing one of these, but what is up beautiful people, it's your boy Mizgo here. Today we're gonna go through seven websites to give you guys endless amount of inspiration and creativity for your UI, UX, and web design projects. So let's get right into it guys. The first website is pageflows.com. Now there are two things that I love about this website. First is how they've actually classified and categorized their inspiration. User flows, specific products, and also product categories. So if you're looking for finance or fitness, you jump straight into the category, or if you know what product you're looking for, or if you've just got the user flow in mind. Now the second thing that I really do love about it is they're not screenshots. They're videos, so you can see exactly all the transitions between and interactions between all the different screens and how they actually flow and integrate with one another. And on the right hand side, you can also pick and skip to the specific point of the video that you're actually looking for. So Page Flows is a really good resource and there is a caveat to all these websites. Some of them do require you to pay um, and they do lock some of the inspiration behind a paywall. But if you think about it, they do save you so much time. Time is money, money is money, right? And we all want to be efficient. So it does sometimes make sense to invest into one of these platforms if you find that it does help you expedite your processes and really streamline it because time, once again, is money so oh and by the way guys happy black friday so many of you guys have been asking about discounts and sales for my figma masterclass course make sure to check the link in the description there's a coupon code get 30 percent off very limited time only guys all right back to the video so the second website is landingfolio.com guys this is designed and built by good old danny i do follow danny on twitter so if you do decide to follow him let him know that mizco did send you over now similar to the previous one some of these components and inspiration is behind a paywall but majority of it isn't so once you land on this website a lot of the content and references are for sort of the tech ui ux related products um, in other words SaaS products software as a service so if you were working on any sort of ui ux design project i really and strongly recommend landing folio they've got nice set of categories they've got a lot of different resources and when you click into it you don't need to click off onto a different website they've screenshotted it all for you so you can stay on one website now the third one is email love and i am sure as a designer you would have or will have another opportunity to design a creative email and even for myself when i'm trying to design an email i'm some i generally will have a creative block because i don't spend that much time doing it this website has a great source of inspiration um, for you and it's all on one website and if you hover on inspiration up in the top menu you can see that they've also broken it down by specific categories occasions and also featured trends as you can see black friday and speaking of black friday guys a lot of you guys have been asking about discounts for my figma masterclass yes i am running a black friday discount so make sure to check the link in the description the coupon code is b friday 30 it's also in the description as well so make sure to grab it because it does expire on the 27th of november 2021 so make sure to jump onto it if that's something that you're interested in and as you can see over here, here are some beautiful Black Friday designs that you can sort of get inspiration from as well. Now onto the fourth inspirational website is One Page Love. This one is definitely more of a popular and more common resource for designers. The great thing about this is that once again, they've got inspiration broken down by all the different categories. So you can jump straight into it and it's really dedicated to designers who are designing a landing page that has all the content on one page. And you will also see this quite common with design portfolios. Instead of having uh, all these different pages for your case studies, your about page, your contact page, everything is situated and located on one simple uh, page. And if you click on a specific menu item, it slides you down to those specific sections. There is definitely a bit of art and science behind these pages because there is so much to communicate. And if you wanna do it effectively, you do wanna see what other people have done in this space to give you the best ideas so you can really design a one page landing page that's going to be putting your best foot forward to increase those conversions. And then onto the fifth website guys, Minimal Gallery. So the previous references have been more, more around the tech UI and UX space. So SaaS products, email delivery, one page landing pages, 
Minimal Gallery definitely sits more around the abstract, more creative websites that are trying to push the boundaries, potentially seeing them as portfolio designs, websites for architectural firms, for interior design firms. So you will definitely see that the trends and the design patterns and the styles on these websites definitely gravitate to the other end of the spectrum. So big topography, lots of negative space, and this is where you can see a lot of those art design principles instead of UI and UX design principles coming into play. So if you are looking for something that's a little bit outside of the box and you wanna sort of stimulate your creativity because you've been spending so much time in UI and UX, Minimal Gallery is a great place to start. That leads me on to the sixth website, which is uijar.com. Now, the domain is a little bit misleading, but I believe they probably started off as a UI and UX design resource, but they've expanded into graphic design and also website design as well, as you can see in the top menu. As, you, as I scroll further down, you can see that they have a great resource for different types of websites, which are sort of pushing the boundaries and sort of work within more of the art design principles. That leads me on to the last inspirational website that you probably haven't heard of is godly.website. Now, once again, this is very similar to the minimal gallery uh, design reference. They definitely feature a lot of websites which are pushing the boundaries and are working with more of the art design principles instead of the UI and UX one. They both have very conflicting principles. There is no right or wrong, these definitely capture your attention and they definitely stimulate a lot of creativity and inspiration. So this is a great resource for you to try find website designs that you can find inspiration from and adapt it to apply to your potential brand designs, homepage designs, landing page designs, to try to do something a little bit different to give the project that you're working on some additional creativity within the visual design. So once again, guys, hopefully you found a ton of value in this. Hopefully you found a one or two new websites that you can get inspiration from. Let me know in the comments below. Have you used one of these websites before? Which one is your favorite? And, and also let me know if I've missed out on any good websites for inspiration, and I'll definitely include it in the next couple of videos. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video very soon. What the? What the?